Hank and Swing, 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 Hank and and I present to y'all some Reeboks, some Reeboks, and we got the nice old classic box too, man. Blue Reeboks, and it got like a little draw, like a little draw book. See what I'm saying? I don't know if these questions came in this specific box. Back in the day, I don't know if it was a pull-out box or the top open up. I believe the top opened up back in the day, but I guess they switched up and gave us the pull-out draw. You know, it's cool, it's cool. It's a thick, big box, too. And the tag, it reads, question me, Unisys, you know, size 10. Yes, sir. So let's go ahead and dig onto this here. I'm like this little pull-out box too. I think it's always dope, man. And you got your old box paper with the Reeboks written on it. But let's see. Woo-wee. Oh. It is, y'all, y'all. Reeboks. Me, the question. Blue, blue toe, blue pearl toe questions, man. The Allen Iverson's joints right here. Go ahead and get this out and put this box back up in here. Wind blowing, got the paper blowing. But yeah, these right here's the questions, the Iverson joints, you feel me? And these are dope. I ain't never owned any Iverson ever? I can't even remember. I think I had when I was a kid, but I said to myself, man, I'm gonna get me a pair of them questions one day, man, once they re-release these joints in. I'm glad I did, man. And if you didn't know, these two joints that Iverson made Jordan dance in. You know what I'm saying? Jordan, can we have this dance? <clears throat> Boom! It's the rookies, man. Smell like rookie of the year too, you feel me? Yes, sir. Well, let's go ahead and get up close and personal with these shoes, man. And see what's happening with it. Let's get it, let's go. All right, good people. Here we are, we got the Reeboks. And the obviously joints, the question mid toe. Well, not the mid, what the fuck I'm talking about mid toe. Blue toe. Blue pearl toe, you feel me? And you can tell because it got like a little, like a little sparkle look, looking look to it. You know what I mean? Up on the toe. As y'all can see, as that sun hit it. Nice little leather too. They got nice leather all over the shoe, man. From the blue pearl toe, from the white with the tumble. And you got that. Reeboks logo on the side here in red, stitched in red and blue. Head on to the back. We got that pearl blue on the back too with that question logo on the back. Also, you got that Iverson number three right down the back of it too, stitched in. Ooh. Patched on both of the sneakers too. Might be the same way as the old power that might switch it up. I really don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments below, man. The media side, same thing. And you got that rope laces. No extra laces, no colors. And you don't need no extra colors with these, man. Just stick to these white. Keep it simple. And you got that mid. 
that nice old mush off on the tongue here. Huh? Thick too, got that thick smooth, soft cotton too. Followed by that nice little leather on the tongue with that red box logo stitched on in in red and blue. And I think this part right here is that synthetic white leather too up on the back because it really don't just feel like this leather right here just feel different so i think this is like the only synthetic leather they got up on here and up on the mid so you got like this foam type material on the mid with this head so light unit pretty much on both sides and i don't believe this is like the real had so unit too. I don't know if the, like, the old version that dropped in 97 got the real Hesso light, but it's not real, y'all. And on the bottom, got that blue, transparent blue, looking like some water with the rebots. And you can see that Hesso light unit up on the bottom too. I think that's what might be real though. Yes, sir. And let's take a look at these laces again, too, man. The lace holders, you got that rebots written in. On the laces, and on the other side, you got the rebots logo on the other laces, too. Other than that, man, need some dope irises, man. Skip straight from the answers and went straight to a question. You feel me? <laughs> But it's a dope ass shoe though, man. I'm glad I got these. I always wanted a pair of Iversons, man. And here I go. Even though it's not the same material as the originals, you know they always gotta switch it up and everything not gonna be the same, man. Especially from shoes from the 90s, and shit like that. This is 2022, man. Like <laughs> 20 years later, all material is definitely not gonna be the same. And on the inside, man. Got that nice little white cotton up on the inside. Got the sh shoe paper up in there. And let's take a look on the inside, man. All right, as y'all can see right here, got that Iverson face. So I think that's a dope touch, man. Dope little feature they added on these new versions that you won't see on the old. You got the question logo and you got the rebots on the other pair. Put them together, you got the iris and face, man. That is dope, very dope. And it's not that, you know what I mean? It don't seem like that's comfortable, man. It's not that squishy, squashy, you know what I mean? Maybe it's not the same kind of insole as the old one, but we'll see. Inside, you know. Nice and stitched up. But yeah, man. Let me know what y'all think of this re-release of these questions, man, man. Blue Pearl Toe, you feel me? I love them. You know what I mean? Let me know what y'all think. I'm gonna go ahead and put these things on free too so y'all can see how they look. And if you enjoy my review, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, baby. And subscribe to Mr. Hanger Swain, man. And if you wanna know any more additional information, man. Go ahead and hit me up on IG, Hanger Swain and T, the name is right there, and I answer any questions you may have, you did. And oh yeah, man, if y'all know the same thing that's not the same on this new version from the old version, man, let me know in the comments below and educate me on what's different between the two. I appreciate that. Other than that, man, stick around for the own foot review, man. Y'all be good. And if you can't be good, be good at it.